Uh, we have a long way to go, but I think we have to say what types of society we need, because there is, there are good grounds for saying, what's this for? Now we, you know, a couple of years ago, some of our leaders would have looked north and said it's a, a failed political entity. I think that was one of Charles Hayes and a couple of others. There, there are very good grounds for saying this is a failed political entity. On what basis? It can't feed its own people. It has periodic emigration every 20, 25 years, uh, endemic corruption, all of these things. But if you were leader, John, yeah. um, because God it's forbid. all very well again God to forbid. say, well, the people we're going to put in place don't seem to have the ability either to have the kind of well, I would worry to about that. I would really worry about that. But I think that. there's a general acceptance that, yeah. you know, where while there is going to be a change, it's not going to be such a dramatic change that it is going to put this country on a journey of recovery and yeah. maybe modernizing it in such a way that it will become much more efficient yeah. we learn from our mistakes i think there's a general feeling that it's not going to happen during the next government period maybe that's unfair well, to those who are going to be leading the country but let's face it that's the general perception one thing i would say if if the job of change of initiative is half done it nothing will change nothing will change because there'll be so much compromise going on if there's going to be major change it will be very painful and, you know, what happens after independence, if you take, again, the likes of Egypt, 80 yeah. million plus people, you, d you tend to have, uh, as I said to you there the other day, uh, our own gentry. You tend to have a native elite that then take over. Yeah. You know, that's no big surprise. Uh, a banker I dinner with a couple of years ago who was way up in the investment area said, you know, that's the national thing, the second generation. You know, people sprout their wings and all the rest. There's a, there's a famous scene in uh, a novel written in the 60s of, of the kind of uh, mohair suited uh, Fianna Fáil chaps being on the stage and these were all younger fellas in the 30s and 40s listening to De Valera yeah. speaking about being these all older by, by yeah, De Valera, well not yeah. being also they were all falling asleep to a man <laughs> because it meant nothing to them they were in the second phase of independence now you have to have that you have to make okay, money so now we're fa you know potentially we're we are at these crossroads I know yeah. that's a bit of a cliche but we have the opportunity. I think we to, haven't reached the break crossroads from yet. The past. We haven't reached the. Yeah. We, oh. we haven't reached the crossroads in your view. Okay. How when are will we, we know reaching when we've it? Reached the crossroads? We're reaching it individually in mortgages, in people yeah. deciding in last year to cancel their health, their private yeah. health care because they couldn't trust the public system. Uh, as opposed to a system in Holland where everybody has to pay, but equally. Uh, you know, you have public patients going into private facilities. Yeah. You know, that's the, the way it, it, it works. So that's the first thing. People were cancelling discretionary money because they had to pay the mortgage. Now they're getting to the stage where they won't be able to pay the mortgage because they have to have food and heating for themselves and the children and the rest of it. We're coming to the second phase of that. We're not at the crossroads yet. Yeah. And as I said to you last year, we will either hang individually or, or hang together. It's an old quote. Let's say, so what you're predicting really is that there will be ever more people over the coming 12 months who will have to make those agonizing decisions. I either pay the mortgage They are making them or already. Starve. They're making them already. They're making them already. And we're not uh, talking about people who would be on the edges. That's anyway. right. And you're, well, you see, at a certain level, people. at a certain yeah. level, the ones who are at the very bottom and the very top, they're not immune from it, but, the, the, you know, it's a different process. Yes. Uh, I can think of a couple of people I know who would be in social housing, who would have their medical paid for this, that, and the yes. other. There's a certain security, a buffer built in there. Yeah. No, it's the ones that are in the middle. And w when you say it's coming towards it, the problem is this. If it came in one rush where you have 20, 50,000 people, for argument's sake, going to be evicted next yes. week. Yes. Then you've got a political yes, movement. because there's a momentum for, Absolutely. for change. Absolutely. You have to do You're saying it's going to happen bit by bit yeah, by Yeah, this bit. is worse. This is even worse. So if it happens like that, all we're going to end up with is a, is a large is number private of people. private misery. Yes, and th that'll be an accumulation of people who will be thrown out of their homes yeah. in some way or and another. And suffer silently. And suffer silently. Yeah. Yeah. That's not that's gonna lead to not, change. No, it won't, it won't. Okay, so if you say that that's actually what you think is going to happen over I the think next it's months. What, I think it's what's happening. It's what's know? happening, yeah. I mean, anecdotally in the papers, you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it won't be enough to create a mass a movement momentum. of no. people. And also, if you couple that with emigration, the momentum dies down as well. Okay, so if that's the scenario, John, and, and you know, it, it, mm. there's, not, there's no reason to, to, to disbelieve that scenario, that that's, that's actually what's going to happen, a private misery, because we're not a nation mm. either that likes to admit 
in a very public way. Well, who wants to no, think that you can't to, exactly. you know, survive yeah, anymore? Yeah. Maybe more people should start admitting this. Well, I think nothing will happen unless there's some kind of, I'm not talking about normal street demonstrations, because people will say to you, people will say to you, what a waste of time. It's a waste of time demonstrating. Demonstrate in 79, demonstrate. And you know, I'm amazed, and a number of people have said this to me. I mean, it sounds a terrible thing, but I'm amazed nobody has been shot in this situation. Yeah. I am absolutely amazed. I was talking to somebody in a town yesterday, and he was talking about suicides, economic suicides, right? And what he said to me was, you know, somebody at some stage will say, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take my anger I'm going to take somebody. my anger I'm somebody. not going to kill I am myself absolute, to kill someone else. I mean, somebody in a well-paid state shop said to me a couple of months ago, the sooner the better. Now, you would never have heard that mm. person say that two or three years ago. And that's not just because of economic situation. That person is relatively well off. It's that they're just, uh, that anger and resentment, you know, is there. And it's people are put to the pin of the collar. I mean, I know of a number of cases, you know, of, of, of economic suicide, let's say. You know, and they're not enormous cases, like the one in Britain a couple of years ago, the fellow who killed his wife and daughter and himself, and the videos were there, all that kind of stuff. They're not. These are ordinary people yeah. who just cannot cope anymore, who may be older in their 50s, so they don't have the, um, the escape route of uh, emigration and close the hatch after them. You know, I mean, in the 80s, go back to the 80s, what happened with people in the 80s very often? I know of a couple of cases, they just handed in the keys and walked off, went to England. Yeah. Right? defaulted on their mortgages. Mm. Yeah. And they would have come back 10, 15 years later and gotten a new mortgage. That happened, you know. Um, that is not there now.